Hey, what's up guys? It's Keoli and we're back for another Hypixel Skylock video and today guys We're gonna be going back to the the park today for another NPC quest or not really quest But you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do something pretty cool today But yeah, I'm gonna show you how to get one of the new talismans and this pretty cool item for completing a race in 18 seconds So I hope the video helps and also guys many of you who watch this videos are not subscribed to the channel So just drop a sub and like the video if it helps you anyways without further ado let's get straight into the video so first off here we're gonna have to go to the park and i hope my internet can handle this right now it's been pretty laggy lately anyways just go to the park cool we're, we're looking good we're looking good all right so just follow the path i take pretty much the same path as i showed you in the last video just kind of come up here all right then whenever you come up there just literally follow this path here and you'll see him his name is gustav should be right over here there he is awesome awesome all right so we got gustav right here and this is the guy for all of the races the wood woods racing and this is really really similar to the end races except honestly it's kind of harder well not really harder but you have to do it in a short amount of time first off i'm just going to show you what the race is like so you have somewhat of an understanding of it so i'm just going to run the race real quick just in the path that actually shows you to take and uh, I'll speed it up and here we go. Alright, there we go guys, there is the actual way to run the race, and as you can see, I just basically sprinted the whole thing, and we did it in a little over a minute. So yes, this would actually work for the first one, because you're going to have to first off, whenever you talk to him, he's going to tell you to run it in two minutes, and you could honestly just do that if you really wanted to, just run the normal way. And then after you do that, you just come back, talk to him, he'll give you this item called the Polished Pebble literally has no use to it it's just it's just a polished pebble like it has no use and then he'll tell you to do it in a minute and then after you do that you'll get this hunter knife which has plus 50 damage and it has plus 40 speed it's not that useful but i mean it does give you a little bit more speed so it, it's a little helpful like it's it's a noticeable difference on speed like it's, it's a noticeable difference so this would honestly if you had the hunter knife you ran this you could probably get under a minute just by running with this little hunter knife but anyways guys, we're gonna need a method that's faster than that to get below 18 seconds is the end thing. So okay, so this one's two minutes, this one's a minute, and then you turn that in, come back, and then you're gonna get this at 32 seconds. And then finally you're gonna get this item right here at 18 seconds. Alright guys, so here is the actual method to doing it in 18 seconds. Ready? So what you're gonna first do is, this it's a little expensive, you're gonna need yourself a wise dragon set, and then you're gonna need yourself a crystal set. And on the crystal set, it'd be best if you put wise on it, but it's not really needed because you can still do it without wise. And to get the crystal set, I did make a video up here. Just click up here if you want to go check that out. But basically, you just have to get some crystal fragments from dragon fights and then craft it like normal recipes. And then the wise dragon armor is obvious, you know, obviously just getting it from dragons. But what you're going to first do here is put on the wise crystal set. Make sure it's also daytime too. You're going to want to be at 15 light level for the armor. I have the wise reforge on this, so it gives me plus... 65 intelligence every piece so it gives a ton of mana as you can see down here we're at 1300 so we're just gonna let that max out real quick all right then when we finally max this out to 1318 you might have more mana you might have less i don't know literally just take off take off the armor and as you notice you're still gonna have the intelligence then you can put on the y set and then boom look you have 1300 mana still this will be great for what we're about to do Alright, then the next thing you're going to need is actually the aspect of the end. It's pretty easy to craft. Just go to the Ender Pearl collection. And here it is. You just need Enchanted Diamond and then 32 Enchanted Eye of Enders. Boom. Ready? So here's the actual method. So once we get a good amount, you literally just only need about over 1,000 mana. You can do this really fast. And also having a grappling hook helps quite a bit. So if I don't like, hopefully we can do this first chat, let's just see. So basically what you're going to do... If the checkpoint's like straight that way, you're just gonna wanna fly over this thing and then fly there and then fly back. That's literally the strategy, okay? Let me try to do it.
And there we go. No, wait. Oh, that was so No, we didn't do it. For 18 seconds. No. I should have. Here, let me let me try it one more time. Because, guys, I did this in 15 seconds. We got this. We're doing it one more time. Armor on. And honestly, this is a pretty pricey. The crystal the crystal's not too bad, but the wise dragon's pretty pricey. So if you don't have a whole lot of money, you probably can just do this with the normal crystal armor. And it would probably still work. But the thing about the wise is it literally cuts the ability cost in half. So that really is what does it. But it is still possible with the crystal armor. Alright, now put the other set on. And here we go. We're going to try this one more time. Hopefully we can do it this time. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. I'm going to use that grappling hook a little bit. Alright, checkpoint. Turn around. 360. Yeah, I'm just going to bullet straight there. There we go, guys. There were 15 seconds. Like that. Alright, there we go. 15 seconds. And that is how you do it. In under 18 seconds. So really, if you wanted to, you could use this method for every time. And then finally, once you get the humanids, polish pebble, one minute, 100 knife, 32 seconds, you can get the wolf paw, which is just like any other really uncommon accessory. It gives one speed, and then just put godly or zealous on it, or itchy if you want. And then finally, for under 18 seconds, you get this thing called the silky lichen. And what it does, if you right click it, it is literally a leaping sword upgrade. So here we have the leaping sword. And then if you have, you have 24 enchanted for minute spider eyes, which is a little pricey because that's like, I think that's the amount you need to actually craft the sword. But here's how to make the for minute spider eyes, as in the other leaping, video, leaping sword video I did. So yeah, you need 24 enchanted for minute spider eye, and then the silky light chin up here, and then the sword, and this will actually upgrade it into the silk edge sword. I don't really know if this is worth it because it only adds plus 20 damage and plus 10 strength. So personally, I don't think I would do this upgrade, but if there's something you're interested in, the silk edge sword has a little cool green handle to it. If you want to do this, go for it. And then back to the talisman, it does give one speed, 1% 1 speed, like the the pig's foot so it is another little bit of a speed boost and that is how we complete the gustav races literally just get yourself an ash from the end literally fly straight this way fly down touch the checkpoint and then come all the way back here easy as that and don't forget about the grappling hook it really does help maneuvering horizontally but anyways guys there is the video there is how to complete the gustav wood races in under 18 seconds if this video helped you as always be sure to give it a big like and subscribe for more hypixel skyblock videos i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time goodbye